We'll start the session shortly. We're just waiting for a few more people to log in. And you're so punctual, all of you are so logged in at uh, 528 itself. Wow. I'm so happy and so glad that you all are here to watch me this in this story. Thank you all for your prayers and blessings. So we start the live session today. Today is day 6. Welcome to the 8 days, 8 stories, 8 storytellers uh, session from Kataria International Storytelling Academy. It's a platform to present stories from different journals. I'm extremely happy and blessed to be a part of this beautiful venture. So good evening all, all of you there. Though I can't see you, I'm reaching out to you and I earnestly hope that there are little ones in this crowd to enjoy this fun presentation. Ready all of you to listen to the story today? Yes. So here we go with a small riddle. Yeah, of course this is a riddle, it's a fact based riddle. An island with a lake with an island with a lake with an island. I repeat, an island with a lake with an island with a lake with an island. Yeah, shall I make it a little faster? An island with a lake with an island with a lake with an island. Yeah, now stop googling. Stop, stop, stop googling. It's a fact based riddle. And if you want to know certain clues of this, listen to my story today. You are going to get clues definitely from my story. So I am going to take you all to a beautiful country. It's an island country. Any guess? Yes, it's Philippines. The second largest group of islands, the archipelago island group of countries. It is said that approximately around 7,100 or more individual islands is what makes up this country. And it's located in the Pacific Ocean and it's our continent, Asia, you know. Um, Resika, what's going wrong here? I think you're going too off the track, you're going with Philippines. What is Philippines to do here? Yeah, I'm going to present a story from Philippines. It's a folk tale from Philippines. So are you all ready for this? So I would like to take you all to a beautiful place in Philippines and that's called Luzon. I repeat, Luzon. So welcome to Luzon. Now, you can see here Mount Rayal. Okay? It's presence there in the background. It's a volcanic mountain. And you can see the rivers the plains, the beautiful forests and the grasslands. And you know what? The river Pambanga is flowing right through the center of Luzon, giving a picturesque beauty. See, can you see the river Pambanga? Yeah, it's separating the landscapes and it's so beautiful. So I'm welcoming you all to Luzon today where my story is set. The sun is there up bright in the sky. Can you see that? It's smiling. It's giving up a beautiful smile. You know what? It's beckoning everybody. Come, 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 come. I'm giving the bright heat today. Come, take a sunburn. And it's all ready over there. And that is the time when our Little friend, Pangong. So this is Pangong, the tortoise. He lives in the banks of the Pambanga River. So he came out of his house and stretched himself. Oh, what a pleasant day. I'm going to take a sunbath today. Do you know what he did? He went, he climbed on top of a mountain, I and mean, sorry, he, he climbed on top of the rock and he stretched his neck out like that. All the little birds come out, stretch out your neck as much as possible and stretch out your hands and lie flat. 
all of the river flowing you know what lagong was feeling a little sleepy So they started swimming. 
women and they came to the banana tree. That is the time when they saw the size of the tree. Such a huge banana tree. Oh my God. What can we do now? So they both decided they will take thoughts and push it. So monkey took the side where it was the leaves and Bagong took the side of the root and they started pushing it and pulling it and pushing it and pulling it. Shall we give a little song for them? You know they are doing a lot of work. So shall we sing a song for you? Yeah. Elaya, 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 unguwe, elaya, pago, elaya, unguwe, elaya, pago, elaya, unguwe, elaya, pago.
tree grounded. And it sat there with that wild gaze on this banana tree which monkeys alone can do. <laughs> and now, thought is continued to take care of this tree. Days went by, months went by. Now he got a huge banana tree in that place. Oh, the tortoise was getting so excited, you know, because there was a huge banana tree now. Oh, I'm so glad. Let me see when the banana starts coming. So he's praying and praying for the bananas. And one fine day, he saw that this banana tree got the first clumps of the bananas. Beautiful bananas, you know. And tortoise was so excited. Papong was getting so excited. He thought all this patient is now showing the results. Isn't it? The banana is there. And within a few months time, all the bananas got ripened. Now it is full of ripe bananas. Woo! What the sight! Papong was so
He went on and on. And now what he did the main thing. He started throwing something down. You know what?
And what was the idea? He said, Angol, I do understand, you know. I, I agree with you. Do you want to beat me with that stick? Then they are there on the right side to take that stick. Come, come, beat me, beat me. No problem. I decided. Oh, do you want to throw me from that mountain? Come, take me to that mountain. You can throw me down, no problem. Or do you want to put me in a mortar and grind me? Yes, please do that, no problem. But, Angol, please don't throw me in the Pamangal River. Please don't throw me in the Pamangal River. Please, Angol. So, ouch! Ouch! So, you are scared of what? You are scared of Pamangal. There shall you go. So, he left the turning. So 
I'll just sit down and go and talk. Give a little modification. I hope you enjoyed it well. And today's session, uh, I hope uh, it's it's almost time for us to wind up the live session. And tomorrow, same time, we are having another storyteller, Anandha, with a folk tale from Punjab. A little bit of belle belle, belle belle. Are you all ready? Yeah. Come in in the same time, 5:30 tomorrow sharp, to watch the live session from Anandha, a folk tale from Punjab. And it's time for me to sign up.